Earth, formed around four and a half billion years ago, our planet, our home. Yet we are currently extracting 60 billion tons of resources every year to meet the growing demands of the seven billion people living on our planet, all busy making and using things, increasing the pressure on Earth's finite resources. As our population continues to grow, the demand for resources continues to rise. Something has to change before we become the dinosaurs of the future. That change includes our thinking about waste. We need to see waste as a valuable resource. After reducing, reusing and recycling our waste, facilities like this one at Ardley are the next sustainable option. Energy recovery. Around 177 million tonnes of waste is thrown away every year in England alone. Transforming our residual waste into power is a step in the right direction, making a vital contribution to Britain's renewable energy supply. Raymond Brown and Viridorn are working to give the world's resources new life, right here, where dinosaurs walked 168 million years ago. This first-class facility processes more than 300,000 tonnes of residual waste each year. Exactly how is this achieved? To begin with, household and commercial residual waste is delivered into a massive bunker. Grab cranes mix the waste, then load it into hoppers, where hydraulic rams then push it into one of two combustion chambers. At this point, waste becomes fuel. Burning at 900 to 950 degrees centigrade, the waste releases the energy which is used to produce power. Heat exchange between the gases and water results in steam production. The superheated steam at 400 degrees drives a high-pressure turbine to power an electric generator. This generates 26 megawatts of electricity, which is exported to the national grid. Enough electricity to power 38,000 homes. The next step involves dealing with what is left from the combustion process. Around a third of the plant is devoted to cleaning up exhaust gases. And by partnering with Raymond Brown, Viridor ensures that the residues generated by the combustion process are recycled into a valuable secondary aggregate for the construction industry. Ardley ERF is the first facility to process the ash on site, reducing the carbon footprint even further. The ash, any metal and other non-combustible materials such as stone, glass and ceramics are moved away on conveyor belts. Ferrous and non-ferrous metals are separated out for recycling. Raymond Brown are leaders in the recycling of incinerator bottom ash for use as aggregates in construction. Together, the two companies provide a sustainable solution for the handling of 70,000 tonnes of ash every year. The product is then used in road building and construction as a substitute for raw materials, which would otherwise have been taken from the land and the sea. Waste is a fact of life, as we simply produce so much of it through our behaviour as consumers. Raymond Brown are embracing the challenge of change, of moving towards circular thinking. The Carey Group were very committed to the philosophy of uh, sustainability and reducing a carbon footprint. At pre-construction we looked to try and specify uh, secondary aggregates to reduce the impact on the environment of use of virgin materials. Uh, we, to this end we, we specify a lot of uh, IBAA. One of the benefits of the product before we even get to site is um, the fact that we can include it within our quality submissions. So, for example, we do quite a lot of work for local councils and part of their scoring criteria of, of how good we are and competent we are as a contractor is um, our use of sustainable products. So it's a, it's a real big tick in the box and it probably facilitates us getting on the tender list for some of these before we even think about doing a job. The use of it on site as a pozzolanic reaction it can outperform uh, virgin aggregates in that, in that you can reduce the uh, thicknesses of materials, layers, uh, so it gives an added benefit in both that you're not using virgin aggregate and using less of the aggregate all, all told. The CBRs achieved on the product far outperform the primary aggregate um, and what we've actually done is managed to save some depth of capping because the, the levels we've achieved have been so good. I would always recommend uh, IBAA, I, I think it's, it's a great product. Giant dinosaur trackways left a footprint of times which have gone forever. 
if we don't move away from seeing what we throw away as waste and using it as a resource, what footprint will we be leaving? Raymond Brown are committed to diverting waste from landfill to reducing our impact on our planet.